Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to talk about tangent lines in Aspire. So let's talk about how to make those. We are going to discuss where we can use them and how we can use them. So let's start by laying out our part. This is a, just a 12 by 12 by 3 quarter inch piece because we're just drawing for fun at the moment. We're going to click on OK and let's get to work. Now, tangent lines have to come off of arcs. Now, Bezier's don't work as tangent lines because they're not arcs. So let's talk about how to do that. We're going to start by just drawing a circle here. And now we want to put some tangent lines on it. So we're going to pretend like this is going to be a raindrop. So to make a raindrop, we're going to come over here to our draw polyline. And I'm going to say from this side over here, I'm going to put my cursor somewhere about right there. And I'm going to hit T. It's going to make that tangential. Okay. Now I'm going to come back down to this side. And I'm going to bring this over to there. Hit T again. And that'll make it also tangential. So I can grab my scissor tool, trim that off. And now I've got my teardrop. Now, if I were going to make this teardrop, I might go to note mode after this. A bezier this, bezier this, and grab my top half and just kind of move it a little to make it look like it's kind of changing the shape of it. But that way, these lines coming in are gonna be perfectly tangential to the circle that I've got. Now, one other thing we need to understand is that when we draw an ellipse and we look at it, it's already a Bezier curve. So the problem with the Beziers is you don't have an arc. And so I cannot do T for 10 tangent line here. Now, if I want to do something like that, I have to grab this one, go to my convert curves. I'm going to preview it. Okay. it. And now when we look at this, we have lots of different arcs here. The only problem is it can only be tangential to a certain arc. So if I pick this section of my line and bring it down here, I can bring it actually tangential over to wherever it needs to be to become tangential to that. So just one extra step on making lines tangential to ellipses or curves. So if we went into our draw arc tool and we built this one here, perfect, no problem. If we went to our polyline tool and by hitting S on our keyboard, we build kind of our curve here. Now again, it's a bezier. So the next step is we come over here to our curve bit, turn it into a circular arc. And we can make that max 90. We, we're okay, whatever. Now we can go back to our draw polyline. Now, right now, you'll notice that my cursor it isn't a line. This is the curve. So hit S again, and that'll change it to lines. Now, tangential from here, I can bring it over to this point here. Hit T, tangential. If I come over this guy and say here, say T, it will make it also tangential to that point. So it's very cool. But the most important rule here that it has to be an arc first. Again, if you're using this to draw something, maybe like a base or something like that, then I would lay out some guidelines and some other things. So I'm here at six, I bring this up like this, okay? And then I'm gonna bring a guideline over. Say I want my tangential point to be up here when I'm drawing. Then I can come from this side up to here, then hit T. And now I can come from this side, even as long as I'm on this side of the circle, it doesn't matter, hit T again, it'll bring it all the way back out and where it needs to be. So making tangential lines in Aspire is doable. You do need to think ahead a little bit to figure out where the other end of your line is going to be when building tangential lines. So if I were to draw, for instance, a circle here and a circle there, and I wanted a tangential line between the two, now that's gonna be a little bit more tricky, you just hit the T button and it will bring it to both circles. So it's pretty neat, really cool new feature, or at least a feature that nobody's really used very much. So here to here, and we're gonna just say T and there's the tangential line between those two points. So it's very cool. Something hopefully that you can use in your drawing as you get into Aspire. I hope this was something that you one, haven't heard of, but two, are able to use as you get into Aspire a little bit more every day. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Be nice to everybody. We'll talk to you again soon.